Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom and I have a couple of cards to share with you today. Just nice and easy stuff. So hey there. So I am using Jaded, or I'm using the Night Before Christmas uh, line from Doodlebug. Um, I'm also using Jada Blossom's banner dies, their What's Up stamp set, and their card layer dies, one and two. And I'm using the 12 inch of that Night Before Christmas line also. So I've got a couple of cards here. Uh, one, They're both A2 sized. Um, one's vertical fold, one's horizontal fold. And I've cut out um, those banner little streamers uh, out of the gingham linen uh, rainbow petite prints in the gray. So now I'm adding my layers with um, Simon Says Stamped Craft Tacky Glue. So really quick and easy. These papers are from the six inch pad the night before Christmas from Doodlebug. So super cute, super sweet. Gotta love it. I decided to make a horizontal A2 and a vertical fold A2. You know me, I like the vertical ones better, but I thought, what the heck, we'll do it both ways. And I'm loving, uh, this line is so sweet from Jade, or from Doodlebug. Perfect to use with Jada, Jada Blossom's uh, products. You just gotta love it. So there we go. So I've got uh, the nice thing about those card layer dies is, is you can cut a whole sheet of cardstock or of pattern paper with them, the six inch pads, and you have a lot of pieces to work with. So there we go. So now I'm going to be adding my little banners and my glue is being a little bit fussy. So I'm just going to dab some glue along my banner. This is going to turn out to be my light, um, my lighting cord. So I'm going to be ha uh, hanging Doodlebug's little um, Christmas bulbs from it to make it kind of look like they're hanging. This is my plan. Now um, I uh, like I do different things with the Doodlebugs with the Doodlebugs odds odds and ends. This odds and ends set um, is also from the night before Christmas, and you can make some super quick and easy cards using these. So you'll notice that like a lot of times, like I'll use uh, crystal drops. Nouveau Crystal Drops, I'll use Glossy Accents, I'll use the Pico Embellisher, um, just to add a little bit of texture and shine to these um, odds and ends. And you'll notice that, see how shiny they are? Those are actually the Pico Embellisher, um, and it's called Shimmer. And it drives really quick because it's not as thick as Glossy Accents, which is kind of fun. So now I'm popping up these little bulbs using Stampin' Up Dimensionals. And like just super easy. I'm using my um, EK Success reverse tweezers just to grab onto these little bulbs. And uh, you know, no rhyme or reason. I'm just trying to, you know, make a cute little layout. And I'm not sure what these bulbs were meant for in the odds and ends, maybe for layouts, like for um, 12 inch layouts. Uh, but I thought they were super cute uh, to make actually the focal point on a card because they, they are adorable. You know, you can't go wrong with their little images, so cute. And, you know, you can zhuzh them up with uh, whatever line, you know, stamp and die line you're working with, which is kind of fun. So now here's my vertical one. I'm going to add my little lights. So I, at this point, I'm not quite sure what I'm going for. I've got like a sort of a design in my head, but not really. And it's like, hmm, that's not going to fit there. So what am I going to do here? So I decided to remove the red one because I'm going to use that um, on the lower portion of the card. So there we are. So now I'm taking the Making Christmas Bright, which is a sticker, and I'm just gonna trim it so it's a little bit thinner so I can stick it on the layer from the card layer dies, or from the card, I think they're called card layer dies. Yes, from the card layer dies. So you can still see the stitching when you put, put it on my uh, little banner that cut from that uh, you know card layer die set. I'm just going to stick it in the center, center of this little banner. And how simple is that? Like super easy peasy, nice little sentiment. Now you could certainly use a Jada Blossom, Blossom sentiment, which is which is what I'm gonna do in my next one. But uh, this one, I just decided to use one of their stickers. So fast and easy stuff, sticking it down directly onto the card base. And now I'm gonna pop up that little bulb. And I'm gonna make that a little character. Now the nice thing about Doodlebug is, is that, that they have these little eyeballs um, these eyes, I think, are the Shape Sprinkles Eye Candy, I think they're called, but they've had a few sets over the years, and I love them. I use them all the time. They're just the cutest. So I'm adding little eyes. Anything that you add eyes to just automatically becomes cute. Now I'm going to round the upper right-hand corner of this 
layout with my We Are Memory Keepers half inch corner chomper. So super fast, like isn't that a fast card? Now I mean, it's, they're not completely done. I'll embellish them a bit, but like fast stuff. So now I've got my VersaFine Onyx black ink out. I'm using a stamp positioner. That's not my Misty one. That is, uh, I think that one's from Hampton Arts, but whatever. So that one's a little bit smaller. So there is the stamp from the stamp set called What's Up? And it's called, it says Deck the Halls. So that is another little piece from the card layer dies. And that paper is also, like I said, from the six inch pad. So now I'm going to pop up that little bulb using my Stampin' Up Dimensionals again. So super easy peasy, like I said before, you know, not rocket science. Sometimes you just wanna make a card and relax. You don't want it to be a big stinking deal. You just wanna enjoy yourself, have fun, and create something quick in your craft room. And, you know, it's good for your mental health. At least I find it is, you know. I'm an anxious person, I think. So this, this helps me uh, decompress a bit. So that is the Pico embellisher that I use to give the shine and the glitz to all of my odds and ends. So isn't that cute? There we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a little bit more texture because, you know, why the heck not, right? So I'm going to use my favorite, my Nouveau Crystal Drops in Simply White. And I'm just going to add a few little droplets. I'm just making sure that it's going over, that it's flowing okay. There we go. So the countdown to Christmas is on. Um, well, Christmas as it is, we're having a little tiny one this year at my house, obviously, just my kids that, that uh, live in the house and my mother who lives alone, she'll be here. Um, but uh, none of the, none of the rest, not the rest of the family, just, you know, to be safe. And there we go. So now I'm just adding these little droplets. I'll say one thing though, it's um, usually since I'm not having these huge parties, I'm not as stressed out as I normally am over the holidays. Although I think I've just kind of been walking around in a ball of stress because of this whole COVID thing. So I'll be happy when it's over, let me tell you. So there we go. I miss crafting with all my gal pals that we usually get together and have crafting days and it's lots of fun. I miss all that. So now I'm adding, like I said, I'm just adding random little droplets, you know, straddling the images, the sentiment. There we go. I also come back when I take the pictures in the end, you'll notice that I do round my upper right hand corner of my horizontal card too. I kind of forgot to do that. There we go. Now I'm using my Nouveau Glitter Drops in White Blizzard and I'll be adding a few droplets to the actual bulbs themselves just to give them like a little bit of texture. Now these are kind of cloudy right now, but they do dry clear with some um, gloss to them, which is nice, like a glittery gloss. So I'm just adding a few little droplets. So they won't add any busyness, but they'll add a little bit of texture and shine. So that's always fun. So anyways, that's about it. Thank you so much for stopping by. And I hope to see you soon, maybe for my next video, you can pick up some pointers or you know, what have you. Like I said, I'm not, not a professional, just sort of playing around with my craft stuff and some people like to watch. So that's it. So we will see you soon, everybody. Bye.